I haven't posted many videos, so and you'll learn a lot about the little nuances and nailings. So there's something that I think that we neglect a lot. And we probably shouldn't. Okay. So what if I intubate someone <coughs> and I suspect he's hypoxic? You know, I suspect it. He is hypoxic on the pulse ox. I hear a history from the paramedics. He's throwing up a lot. Right. So it's going 23, 22. And as I bag, after I intubate this fish for airway protection, there's no most form or engine resistance. Where's the engine resistance coming from? Why is he de sat? Why are the sats not coming in? Should I wait for respiratory to show up and put some slightly complicated piece of plastic contraption on the, the connection from the ventilator and then allow that to suction the patient while he's intubated? Or why do you pull one of these spaghettis, 14 French suction catheters? Or he has gloves, who cares? I have gloves on. Connect this to your front suction. Same thing connected to your EM power that you already had. To the back end, you do this. If the sets are up, or they were down, you still need to do this eventually. If there was an obstruction, you may tell because when you're putting it in, you see the teeth of the patient's clenching on. You realize, wow, there's an external obstruction. Look how long this thing is. Look how long. Down the mouth, down the back of the airway. Probably should touch the corner, perhaps a right main stem. The rail will go this far, this deep. Right, because there's no obstruction. If this allows it to pass here, if there is a uh, obstruction, maybe it's very distal in the main stem, locked up in the periphery of the lung, or at least proximal, there ain't no obstruction. Make sense? You get to suction the patient. Confirm the aspiration. Two feet from a nursing home patient, right? A uh, little baby got intubated, Similac, Amifamil, whatever you use to feed a child, breast milk for son, <laughs> spaghetti yells, right? Coronas and White Castles confirmed. How do you know? You see chunks of it. <laughs> so try to do this almost after every patient gets intubated. It's a good practice. Plus, you get to confirm aspiration or not in some cases. Make sense? All right. Some patients, that mucus plugs that form like a film, right? On the wall, and it builds up, builds up, and then causes an obstruction. The mucus plug that loosens up from the lower lungs up can also happen. This is likely to be confirmed by this the poor man's fiber optic scope. Not letting it pass, the teeth aren't clenched, something's wrong along the tube. Right? Make sense? This is way longer than the atrium tube. See, it's going this long from here to here. It's not letting me pass. Something's wrong. This thing. It blocks that. Make sense? When I hear or hit, hit feel resistance, be very suspicious. Something's wrong. Most likely you have to change out the tube for an hour. All right? Poor man's echo. Tactile sensation is very essential. Even Helen Keller can witness this difference. Make sense?